So we're going to take a look at the Mandrel adapter that came with your either your Midwest E Plus one-to-one straight attachment or your Midwest Rhino X E straight one-to-one or the Midwest straight one-to-one for the K style motors. So three different straight attachments but they all come with this Mandrel adapter. So this is going to give you an option for either inserting a handpiece length burr into the straight attachment or if you would like to use a latch type contrangle handpiece burr you can insert this mandrel in and it'll give you the option for using a latch type burr. We've got our Midwest E plus straight attachment here is what we're going to take a look at today but this would apply the same to the Rhino XE or the K-type uh, low-speed air straight attachments also. So when you receive it, it'll look like this. It has this little tool in the one end. This black piece in the back end is for the manual maintenance of the attachment. If you don't have an automated machine, we give you a nozzle for your spray can. So we can set this nozzle aside. And now this tool that's in the end is going to be your mandrel adapter. So we can turn these so the two dots are not aligned. It'll open that chuck up and we can pull this out. And you can see this is in two pieces and this is threaded together. So this part is the tool that we're going to use to insert and remove the mandrel. This is the actual mandrel itself. So we want to go ahead and thread that back on there, just like that. So we have the mandrel out right now, so if you had your standard handpiece length burr, you would go ahead and insert that into the straight attachment, lock it in, ready to go. Say we have a certain burr, but we have it in a latch type burr here, it could be latch or latch. Uh, OS oral surgical that would be a little bit longer and we want to insert that into our straight attachment to use that burr tip. So let's go ahead and turn the dots away from each other and we can pull this out and we're going to insert our mandrel. So the way we're going to do that is to the, the tool and the mandrel together go into the straight attachment. We're going to go ahead and lock that on there now we're going to unthread the tool from the mandrel. One thing to note, see that wants to spin on the back side. You can either attach to the motor, just put your finger in there so it doesn't spin. And you can unthread the tool out. And now that other piece is down inside. So then we're going to open our chuck back up, two dots apart. We can take our latch type uh, contrangle burr insert it into the straight attachment fully seated it'll hit that mandrel inside the stop that's acts as a spacer so it doesn't drop way down inside and we wouldn't be able to get that burr out turn your two dots to the line to lock it and that's locked in and ready to use so you may have some burr sizes and shapes that you just have in the latch type and every once in a while you want to be able to utilize them in your straight this mandrel adapter gives you the ability to do that. So and then to remove the burr, again turn so the two dots are apart. We can remove the, the latch type burr. And then if we wanted to go to the back to the straight, we can go ahead and close that chuck, hold the back end a little bit so we can thread this tool back in. Open it up and remove the tool. So this does apply to all three of our straight attachments that um, are E-type, either the Midwest E, the Rhino XE, or the K-Style. I think this gives you some good versatility for using your straight attachments. Thank you.